So you've probably heard of the Paycheck Protection Program, right? It delivered more than $650 billion in loans to U.S. companies during this pandemic. But what do you know about the Economic Injury Disaster Loan Program? It was also authorized by Congress to help small businesses survive 2020. The WCPO 9i team spent the last several weeks studying how EIDL money is being used in greater Cincinnati. It discovered hundreds of local companies needed both programs to survive. Rosie Fireworks was all set for sales to explode in 2020. We had booked probably the biggest year that we've ever had. But COVID-19 caused that sizzle to fizzle. We lost half of our business last year, which was quite devastating for us. As president of her family-owned company, Nancy Rossi started looking for a lifeline. She found two of them at the U.S. Small Business Administration. Rossi borrowed $131,000 through the Paycheck Protection Program and 500000 with an economic injury disaster loan. Hey, if they were going to give it to me, I was certainly going to take it. The I-Team has been tracking the region's 30,000 paycheck protection loans for several months now, but this is our first look at the EIDL program. It brought another 6,500 loans to the tri-state. The Rossi company is among nearly 2,900 borrowers that got loans from both programs. This pandemic has dragged on a lot longer than the original PPP loan was, was really for. And so uh, I could see how uh, so a business could say, we need more than we're apparently gonna get through PPP. Sean Moulton is a senior policy analyst for the Project on Government Oversight. He's tracked more than $900 billion in SBA loans nationwide. He estimates fewer than 10% of borrowers took advantage of both programs. I think a lot of companies applying for the very first time uh, you know, applied to one or the other and, and left it at that. John Croswell needed every penny he could borrow to keep his family-owned bus company alive. I laid my daughter off. You know, that was about as tough as it gets. Croswell Bus Lines lost 92% of its revenue in 2020. It also made the painful choice to refund more than $800,000 in customer payments when bus trips it arranged were canceled by state health department orders. Pretty easy to have high character when things are going good, right? But when things are going bad, you got to, you know, you just got to stand up. You know, I mean, I'm, I was in here in tears for days. Crosswell used two corporate affiliates to borrow $943,000 from the EIDL program and $749,000 from PPP. He used the money to rehire about 40 of his 125 employees and keep his fleet of 70 buses ready for any new business that emerged. The liability insurance is, is unbelievable on buses, right? Well, you had to keep them enforced because we may need an entire fleet of buses one day and need no buses for the next 30 days. Both of these family businesses are proud of how they use the federal stimulus programs. Even if it's the government's money, you treat it, it is yours, right? You treat it, you treat it responsibly. The owners, um, we took a pay cut so we could keep everybody on staff and the money lasted us for about three months. And then we started to get some income, some revenue coming in. Both companies have applied for new PPP loans authorized by Congress in December. We're disappointed that our biggest year was canceled, <laughs> but we're hopeful, you know, for the future. Dan Monk, WCPO 9, IT.